It's no secret that Republicans have been struggling to make good on their promise to repeal Obamacare. Now, what is less talked about is that Democrats are laughing up their sleeves over the Republican struggle. The ayes are 217, the nays are 213. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Even if a health care bill is finally passed into law, Democrats believe the replacement will turn out to be so unpopular with voters that Republicans will pay a steep price at the polls. Many Democrats and their amen chorus in the mainstream media are rubbing their hands together in anticipation of taking back the White House in 2020. Let's look at their prospects. The Hill, a Washington newspaper, recently listed no fewer than 43 possible Democratic candidates who could take on Donald Trump in 2020. It's an interesting list, even if it contains some non-starters like former Vice President Al Gore. A big problem facing the Democrats is that while their base is growing younger and younger, their leading hopefuls, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders, are growing older and older. And all of them will be well into their 70s by 2020. Another problem is that their base is radically left wing. But contenders like New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, and Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe all represent the moderate old guard. The desperation of the Democrats is underscored by news from Hollywood that Jeffrey Katzenberg, one of the party's most prolific fundraisers, is encouraging Disney CEO Bob Iger to run for president. And Iger is reportedly considering it. Which raises the question, who's in charge of this Mickey Mouse operation anyway? This is Ed Klein, Confidential. Ed Klein Confidential is brought to you by Birch Gold Group, the precious metal IRA specialists. Protect your savings with gold. Learn how free. Just call 800-422-3388, 800-422-3388, or click on birchgold.com slash ed for this free offer.